This is an excerpt of a recent power-up webinar taking a look at cool but weird effects inside Motion 5. In this excerpt, I'll show you some interesting ways to work with motion paths. Go to the library and go to one of my favorite shapes, which is the alpha ball. Just so we can see what's going on and add some life to our picture, we'll move this alpha ball over to here. And now we're going to add a motion path. Motion path says, take the alpha ball and move it from point A to point B. And gosh, isn't that exciting. I can't tell you how thrilled I am with moving this. And we can change the duration. We could have it start there and have it end there. So it starts at the beginning. Zippy poos across and... Uh, Dull, dull, dull. Select the motion path. Go back to the inspector. Here's what you may not know. Notice under behaviors, under motion path, we can change the path shape. We can make it a circle. We can make it a rectangle. Mm, we could make it a wave. We could increase the size of the waves. We could increase the number of waves. <laughs> I urge against geometry. Be careful of that. When I've uh, tried using it, it tends to make motion want to crash. I found it to be fairly fragile. But these others are way cool. And here's the other neat thing. If you need to move the rectangle, you can't grab it with the arrow tool. The motion path is not movable in that regard. Okay, you can change the size. The better way to move it is select the object to which the motion path is applied. Hold the command key down. Command right arrow. Move slowly to the right. Command left arrow. Move slowly to the left. Shift command right arrow. Moves rapidly to the right. Shift command left arrow or up arrow or down arrow. Allows you to quickly reposition whatever object the motion path is attached to inside the frame. All right, now it starts to get really interesting. And the reason is we can modify the motion path even more. If we go over to where it says properties, in properties, which remember is attached to every object, every object inside motion, I can change the property. If you roll into one of these settings, for instance, position all the way over to the right is a small downward pointing arrow. If you click it, we can add a parameter behavior, and these are all the different choices that we can add. For instance, I want to add, oh, a little bit of randomized position. Well, look what just happened. Instead of going down a perfect rectangle, we've got a little bit of randomness to the shape. It's not pure geometry anymore. It's now much more organic. We can add noise to this, which means it gets really weird. We can change the frequency. How do I decide what to use? I'm dragging it. I'm looking to see what it looks like. Oh, yeah, that looks kind of neat. Let's make the noisiness a little less, a little bit more. Let's go back to um, motion path. And let's change it to a circle. And let's go back to shape. Nope, nope, nope. Now it's randomized on a circle. Or it's randomized on a wave. Are you starting to sense what's possible here? We're adding reality to the perfect geometry that motion tends to create. How did we get there? We selected that which we wanted to vary, didn't select it, just dragged our cursor over it, clicked the downward pointing arrow, and added a parameter behavior. Well, we've seen what randomize does. Let's take out randomize, so we'll go to behaviors, take out randomize, highlight it, hit the delete key, go back to properties. This time, we're going to add a parameter behavior called wriggle. <laughs> this causes our shape. It's a gentler thing. Let's just make that a whole lot less in our face, motion path, and let's make the amplitude less. Let's make the frequency less. Let's open it up. There we go. And now when we play it, it's moving in a wave, but it's not moving in a perfect wave anymore. We've added interference noise. How do you adjust it? I'll play with the frequency. 
or play with the noisiness. <laughs> I amuse myself. Anyway, play with it. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at cool but weird effects inside Motion 5. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.biz slash store and look for Webinar 142. By the way, if you need to stretch your training dollars, a subscription membership to our video training library saves you money. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 800 movies, dozens of hours of training, all in-depth and all up-to-date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit larryjordan.biz slash subscriptions. And thanks.